Yo, what's up YouTube? How's it going everybody? So boys, today we are here with the brand brand new cane buffs. Boys, I am super excited for this patch. Not only do we have the brand new cane buffs, also we have the death stance buffs, so I see no reason to get visage from now on. We're gonna be doing much more damage, we're getting our form much easier, and I feel like Kane is gonna be a top tier jungle pick for sure. So let me meet the music real fast and just explain to you guys exactly what is going on. So they buffed Kane's uh, passive orb increase, so it's more steady and it's about a 3% gain. Now they're buffing his orbs from 10 to 13 minutes where he will increase his orb gain speed by 15%. So they upped it 3% last patch for early on and now they're upping it 15% past 10 minutes, which is absolutely insane. Um, also with the addition, like I said, of death stance, the buff on this, it's going to be giving you MR damage and uh, I mean, the effects of this item is going to be really, really useful. I might actually just rush the item straight up. We'll see, we'll see. So, yeah, I'll turn the music back on. I'm probably going to be doing the full clear. I like to full clear a lot as Kane, if you guys are new to Kane. My normal pathing strategy is for red Kane, I'll full clear. For blue Kane, I'll start Raptors and maybe do three or four camps and look to gank. Because with red, I like to play more for my early game and end as fast as possible. For red, I definitely want to, you know, play more for the mid to late. Look for the team fights because it takes a while to get those power spike items like cleaver and whatnot. But getting your form this much earlier, I might have to swap up my playstyle to be honest with you. So I always use, usually smite my uh, second camp right there, save my E to go over here. Gonna get level three. Usually when you're at this state, you can e either look for the gank mid or you can look for a play elsewhere. Or maybe just look to keep farming. There's a lot of opportunity with this pathing, which is w really what I like. I think. Okay. So things are looking pretty good so far. They have a pretty good comp for Ken. I'm probably going to be able to test out the death stance because they do have uh, AP and AD comp. Mix. Okay, nice. My team got a one for one. That's pretty good. My top's looking like it's gank gankable. Yeah, I definitely think so. Let's look for it right now. I'm a little bit low, but we'll see. She just used her uh, E or whatever. Okay. Looks like you could just stun her. I'll just hit the... Oh, man. Ta, she got her passive. That actually saved her. That was unfortunate. I thought I would just have her killed. It's fine, though. I'm just going to farm my top camps. That would have been really good to get the early kill, but it's okay. Okay, so if I just took this, so uh, she's gonna be right there. It's just gonna farm my Gromp. Probably ping over there. If she got the top scuttle, it means that she might try and get both scuttles. We'll have to wait and see. Alright. I'd probably go too long sword here. Remember, I can hit. All three of their mid, top, and jung to get my, um, what do I call it? By the way, I'm actually gonna get by the death stance for a second. I'm just getting long swords. I think it's better to get two long swords than smite if I have the gold for it. If my best spy would probably be like smite long sword boots. It's usually what I like. Some people ask why don't I just get a warhammer? I think if you can get smite and long sword, it's the most efficient for Kane at least. Okay. So I'm just gonna farm all these camps. Maybe look for a play mid. I do have a fiddle six. That is the brand new fiddle six I made a video on. Obviously, he's getting picked every game in PB. It's this isn't a custom this game. This one's just uh, up, up against people I don't know. But Kane doesn't get picked as much as fiddle, so I have nothing to worry about. I mean, once he goes live with the buffs, I think he will get picked as much. But we'll have to wait and see. I think people will be really foolish not to pick him as much as they should. Mid's kind of healthy, and I feel like we don't have the damage to kill him. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay. 
I think I can make a dive play top right now. I just have to be very cautious that Vi might counter gank, so I'm just gonna make sure there's no wards. There's no wards, I doubt it gets counter ganked. Okay, it was warded, but if we go really fast. Oh man, let me wait for the passive. Mm. Camille is such a slippery champion to kill. I probably get a tower play right here. If I comes, I can pretty much kill her. Okay, she showed bot. She had 41 CS and she hasn't reset yet. I wonder if she farmed her second Krux. Let's see. I'm gonna assume no. Nope, yeah, see, looking at stuff like that, that's why I actually press tab a lot. I know it's very annoying for you guys, but I actually do press tab a lot to keep track of their CS. And you know, there's a lot of things you can learn from uh, pressing tab, like, you know, seeing their items, seeing a lot of other stuff. I think if Fiddle just ults this guy, we can kill him. Oh, he just ulted, oh man. I didn't even notice his ult looks like that. Oh man. Wait, I did not think his ult looked like that. I was like, I was like, what is he doing? I was like, oh, that's his ult. <laughs> I just played that champ, but I haven't played that skin yet, so I had no idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, usually you never die to this camp, so I'm chilling. So I have a pretty good lead on this uh, Vi, because I got a, two ganks off, she's got none. She did get the dragon, but that's kind of Vi's bread and butter. See, when you understand champions more, you kind of see what they're going to do. You know, you have an understanding for like, okay, it's a Vi, they're probably going to look to solo dragons and rifts, etc, etc. And see, instead of actually trying to stop it, I could just like look for plays and invades and then I get myself ahead, like really ahead. Because I can just play off my laners. Like, getting a 10% ultimate CDR is good, but it's not as good as like a kill and like making someone miss out on CS and XP. That's much more important. I think that sets might lose that 1v1. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Actually, hard won the 1v1. Alright, let's see. Just gonna farm my top side. Look to get the rift. So, it's at about 10 to 13 minutes is when you notice the new orb buff changes for this patch, guys. Last patch, it's about 3% from, I think, 6 or 7 minutes starting. So, if you've noticed any little different change, that was last patch. And, obviously, the 10% extra W slow was pretty huge as well. Oh, he actually dodged my thing. And he leashed me, though. <laughs> that was weird. I don't know why he was... <laughs> Hard invading me. I was like expecting like, oh, is that Vi? And I was like, oh no, it's it's actually just Rumble. Oh, look at that. The extra 10% slow. It's, you can't tell me it's not something. Nice. I just kill her easy there. I have to be kind of careful that Vi might be around, but to be honest, if I in for my form, you know, I don't think it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> I mean, once it's past 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure if I hit one person with a 15% more orb gain, I'm going to be getting so much. So I think I might just wait till like... Uh, actually, no, I don't think I'm going to wait. I do not think I'm going to wait here. I think I'll just get my form. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I should wait. <laughs> oh, he's just, he's just going in. He's just going in. Okay, I like it. The aggressive player. What the? What the heck? That Vi is actually really alpha. Just walks in the bush, does not care. Right, let's see, let's see. Okay. I get Tabby. I probably just rush that stance to see how good it is. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I'm gonna do for the next patch. Like, I, I might go Cleaver then Death Stance. I know for sure I'm gonna be building Death Stance about every game. Like, not not even kidding. 
Let's see. I like how it's it's better for melee users as well over ranged. It has a lot of really good stats. Obviously the damage went down from 80 to 50, but that's still a lot of damage. Because it's pretty much like Visage with all the healing, and but you have more damage. Like, <laughs> it's pretty good. I could see, honestly, still getting Death Stance and Visage, just because how well they synergize with the Visage passive. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, so it's like 10 minutes. So, hitting them even like once here would be able to give me my uh, form. Yeah, just make sure I damage them as much as I can so they're dead. I think I'm gonna reset, get my form, get a Warhammer here. And then look to do the rifts, that way I can use it. Or maybe I should get the dragon. I think it'd be smarter to get the dragon, because dragon is exactly what Vi is going to be looking for. I'm actually really excited, because not only do I think this is going to be amazing for me, but I'm really excited for all Kane players. Because past 10 to, 10 to 13 minutes, you, you're getting 15% more orbs. So all those people that struggle with getting their form, it's going to make them just enjoy the champion so much more. It's really exciting, actually. Yeah. Then I'll just get this right now. Very risky to start this without my sniping up, but I guess if she comes, I'll just try and kill her, I guess. Kane is actually a very hard counter in Divide. The reason why is because if she Qs, you can knock her up with your W, and if she ults you, you can ult while she's ulting you, and it'll put her ult on full CD time. Oh, she did come. Plus, well, it's pretty easy to dodge this stuff. Okay, this is gonna be nasty. Nice. Holy moly. I I'm so excited for all the new builds and everything. Man, I'm gonna have a blast playing this champion. You have no idea. Hopefully they don't have F15. I really wanna get like more items, but they might just have F15. It's such a snowbally game. Like, words cannot describe how badly I think Kane is going to be one of the best champs out there. Let me reset the tower aggro and just... Oh man, this cat is juking me out. I dodged Santa's heal. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this would be really good to get. Man, the I forget. Aegis gives you like armor as well. Wait, I completely forgot that. Wait, oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Wait, you get armor as well? Oh my goodness. You know what this makes me think? I wonder if I should go conditioning. Okay, you know what I think would be a really good build? If you went Cinder Hole, Death Stance, conditioning and then gargoyle stone plate you would actually be really really tanky like and you do a lot of damage and have a lot of sustain and you can always get visage as well to go on top of it wait that sounds extremely extremely op okay man i already have a brand new idea for a video oh man this is the most excited i've been playing league in so long oh i have the i have the uh, Aegis, so I could just tank everything, man. It's beautiful. Man, I cannot wait till this is live. Because this is on the PBE right now. I think it's live tomorrow. It should be. Unless I'm wrong. It's either live tomorrow or maybe next patch, but someone in so he gets more content. <laughs> yeah. I'm playing with four of the viewers. If you guys are ever interested in getting in a viewer game, I'd suggest joining the Discord. It's discord.gg slash Um I usually post like, okay, who wants to play? You know, just have people come join in, have some fun. Sometimes we do customs if it's like a new champion release and I actually want to play it. So it's always good to have more people. Um, I think they're gonna FF here. So I just want to show you guys the, the buffs and the death stance overall, if they FF here. I'm hoping they don't, but it'd be fine. <laughs> oh no, 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 they're not, they're not. Okay, perfect. I don't want to say my goodbyes yet, to be honest. I want to team fight with this death stance. I'm pretty sure I can 1v4 and it's 15 minutes in. Pretty disgusting. 
Oh my goodness. Man, this is the most fun I've had playing Red Cane in so long. Like, the ideas for builds are just so, so much. Okay. Well, we killed him. The tower alone did 2k damage to me. Whew. See, now I'm debating if I would rather get Cleaver or would I rather get Visage. I think if I was playing in Challenger, obviously I'd go Cleaver. But right now I think Visage would be a pretty smurf item. Oh, they did FF. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and a sub. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to expect a lot more Kane content incoming, boys. Peace.